all the money in the world. Here's a movie that uh, I, I got to say, as you guys know, Kevin Spacey was replaced by Christopher Plummer. Director Ridley Scott mm-hmm. decided not to show Plummer any footage of Spacey in character, or even tell him how Spacey played the scenes. When finished, Scott found both performances to be quite different and equally effective in their own particular styles. Clearly, Plummer did a pretty good job. I think he got a nomination for it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and uh, the cool thing is, so if you're watching on the YouTube, I'm actually, we now have the technology to bring up the IMDb page uh, if we go to one of the wide shots at some point, um, which is really one of the cool things that we can do in this in this uh, new studio. Mm. So um, this movie is, you know, it's based on the John Pearson book. Michelle Williams, Christopher Plummer, and Mark Wahlberg are all in it. Overall, I, I liked it. It's a, it's a good movie. Christopher Plummer is... Now, which movie was it? Because as we were watching trailers, one of them was a spy thriller. One of them was just kind of like a drama with a ransom in it. Or was it like a mix of those two? It's a drama it's... with a ransom. It's a, it's a ransom drama. That's what it is. Okay. And the movie is really mm-hmm. about... Um, J. Paul Getty and the Getty family, and really it shows how just greedy and sinister he is. Mm-hmm. Like literally, can 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 paying can I write off the ransom for taxes? Like I'm not joking. Like it's like God, Stuff like that, huh. and that type yeah. of that turn of the last century barren mentality of just I'm gonna squeeze a nickel out of you. And I don't, can I, how can, oh, great. I get to put my boot on your fucking neck and take a dollar out of your pocket. Then that's what I'm going to do. And Christopher Plummer is very good at that. He's just a, he's just a very skilled actor. Um, Mm -hmm. And honestly, having seen the trailer with Kevin Spacey, now I think Kevin Spacey, aside from being a sexual predator, uh, (laughs) prior to learning that information, I respected him as an actor. Now he can go fuck himself. (laughs) But if you're just going to look at it as, as acting, um, it's actually, in my opinion, and not having only seen the trailer footage of Kevin Spacey, Christopher Plummer's better casting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. The most peculiar casting is Mark Wahlberg. Really? As like a, he's like an ex-CIA operative, he's right? He's an ex-CIA guy, but he's not running around. I mean, the, the one the one trailer, the Mark Wahlberg trailer, makes it seem like it's a Jason Bourne movie. Right, right. I remember that one. And that is weird and it, it, it <laughs> and what you know mark Wahlberg's character is based on an actual guy he's just sort of the gettys fixer right mm-hmm. with a cia background you know all rich people have one of those right mm-hmm. yeah and that's what it is he's just like you're you're my fixer go 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 take care of this i'm paying you a lot of money and he does this <laughs> thing and he goes uh, excellent job, and it will be reflected in your year-end bonus. You know, just like money guy, get me solutions. Mm-hmm. And Mark Wahlberg, you know, he's been nominated. He's a decent, in the right role, he's a very good actor, you know, in Fighter. That's yeah. an yeah. Irish kid boxer. Wow. Yeah, I right. mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a stretch. A stretch. Mm-hmm. But he, um, this needed to be cast by somebody else. Because mm-hmm. it's just... It, it it just it just took me out of it. I wasn't going. Oh, there's. What about Chris- somebody like Christian Bale? Would he have done a better job in it, in that role? Maybe because Christian Bale's a very good actor. But the problem here is, Christopher Plummer. You never went. Wow, that's Christopher Plummer. You went. That's J. Paul Getty. Ah, uh, okay. The rest of it, right. you go, and even Michelle Williams, you go. She's good, but. There's Michelle Williams doing an East Coast blue blood accent, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's sort of pronounced in certain scenes where she's like, look, I have Mm -hmm. to go find my father and get the money to raise my, you know, whatever. And you're just like, okay. Well, it's interesting when John, uh, when Gene Paul Getty was uh, 80 years old, when his grandson was kidnapped, Kevin Spacey was 58 and had to be prosthetically aged. However, Christopher Plummer at age 88 needed no special makeup. Because yeah, and I think role better. that's the thing too. Mm-hmm. And just from the trailers, I the, the trailers of, of of Kevin Spacey, I went, wow, they did a pretty decent job on makeup. But I wonder how if that would have taken me out of it over the course of a two hour and some minute movie. Whereas this, you're just like, there's Christopher Plummer, <laughs> all rich white guy. You know, right. he just he just <laughs> looks like Christopher Plummer. If you saw him walk down the street, you go, oh, there's a billionaire. Right. There's a billionaire mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that's had people murdered. He, you even know? Walk, he even walks like one. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like if you if you look here, um, 
you know, in the, in the details for it, uh, it, it did okay at the box office. Um, you know, you know, if you go to the IMD page, it's 132 minutes, by the way. That's a little long. It a little felt, long. It felt yeah. long. Um, Especially for a ransom movie. It, for a <laughs> ransom movie. The kid that plays the grandson does a great job. Mm -hmm. There's like a key kidnapper who... Um, it was a weird billboard, too. You mm -hmm. remember that? The billboard was just the severed ear. It was like, what, what are you, what, are you trying to promote a horror movie? Like the marketing department was all over the place in this movie. It really was. And that's part of the problem is because I think the casting, the casting, they should have cast, they, they shouldn't have cast a name. Uh, they should have cast somebody that's used to playing a pretty good co-star, like an amazing skilled actor that's a co-star because that's who this guy is. The fixer is not in the papers. J. Paul Getty is in the papers. Right. Mm -hmm. So Mark Wahlberg mm -hmm. doesn't, you're like, there's Mark Wahlberg. Right. So uh, it's worth seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, Christopher Plummer's performance on its own is pretty- Worth the nomination. Worth the nomination. Michelle Williams does a decent job, but I, I just had, there were some scenes where I couldn't get past her accent. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and there's some great scenes. And the, like the Italian actors they cast, to play some of the bad, I mean, those scenes, there's some great scenes with them. There are mm -hmm. some great scenes with them. Um, and this is all actual events. So they did a decent job of sort of how this happened and the Italian paparazzi and the oil embargo that's hitting the world. That like a played into this and J. Mm -hmm. Paul Getty's an oil guy. And he's just like, well, good. The price of oil is going up. Like he doesn't yeah. <laughs> fucking care. Um, and so that that stuff is all very is all interesting. It's not best picture of the year. Right. I, I can't remember if it got nominated or not. I think just, um, yeah, just, just, he just got nominated. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't, I don't know that it deserves that unless I, I forget. There's probably some movie in best picture that we talked about that is like, mm. Oh, Phantom Thread. Yeah. Phantom Thread. Get Phantom Thread out of <laughs> yeah. there and get Wind yeah. River in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, or, this has got to be hostels. Yeah. Or hostels. This has got to be better than Phantom Thread. Oh, it is. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's my mm -hmm. that's my opinion on that. So um, well, it sounds like it's a good movie to see. I mean, for sure. Like uh, especially with the uh, performance. Yeah. So you want to do that? I shot first.